Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner and today I wanted to share um, two hauls that I've done recently, oh, the things that I've purchased recently um, from the Mrs Brimble's online store and also from Scrap Boutique which is an Australian online scrapbooking store. Um, I'm going to apologise in advance for the lighting. It is well and truly autumn now and the sun keeps disappearing so I have got a light on have got the, the blinds open but I do apologize for any weird random lighting. Um, unfortunately I can't control Mother Nature. So I'm going to start with the Scrap Boutique haul because it's a really um, quick and easy one and then I'll go through all the goodies that I picked up from the Mrs. Brimble store. So uh, a Scrap Boutique I think is based in New South Wales and um, I've been looking for some things from the Carp DM um, line. Sorry, no, what is it? Simple Stories Carp DM line. Um, and I've had a lot of trouble finding them. So, first of all, I picked up the Carp DM bits and pieces. And these are all the goodies that you can find in there. So, I'll use these for scrapbooking and probably in my planner as well. Um, I've also been looking for the Carp DM word label stickers, and you get eight sheets, two of four designs in these packs. So, I also, there you go. Um, not that you're going to be able to read those because I can't even read them up close. Um, and I got two packs of those because I love tiny word stickers. Then I also picked up the Carp DM Illustrated Life stickers. Um, and I got two packs of those. And they come with four designs, two sheets of each. So I am not going to be running out of these stickers uh, for a very long time. But I love these. I think they're so gorgeous. I love the florals and I love... The little um, little dog with flowers in its hair and these will get good use in planners and in scrapbooking and then I also picked up two of the Mambi or me and my big ideas washi tape um, sets because I've keep seeing these washi tapes and some of them I absolutely love so I'm just going to open them they come in the tubes so this is the peony oops she says dropping one of them. The Peony Collection. And I really love this uh, floral washi tape. And that's really why I wanted it. Plus with this black and white stripe. Because I have a, a thing for black and white striped washi tapes. So there's... Now let me double check. So there's three 15mm, three 10mm and one 6mm washi tape. So you get a variety of widths. And they all coordinate really lovely. Um, together, so I can't wait to use those. So, pop this back in there. And then the second set that I bought was the watercolour set um, because I really love these watercolour dots here. I really love this black and white um, design. You know me and my black and white tapes. If you watch any of my planner videos, I very rarely go for long periods of time without using black and white washi tape so I also really like this diagonal um, stripe and the pink and really they're just fun and even though I don't really need any more washi tape because I will never ever use all of my washi tapes in my entire life I can pretty much guarantee that now um, they weren't too pricey so I thought I would I would grab them and give them a shot so that was my scrap boutique haul. Next up is my Mrs. Brimble's haul and I ended up purchasing a whole bunch of things because I had pre-ordered a Webster's Pager Pages planner. Um, and I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you which one I purchased and then I'm gonna do a video um, flip through of it so I can spend a bit more time on it. So when our Webster's Pages released the promo photos for their planners ages and ages ago. Um, I, I, I honest, I'll be honest with you, I don't need another planner, but I kept coming back to this one particular design because I just love it. I think it is absolutely stunning. Um, and if it means I ha now rotate through three planners instead of two, you know what, I can, I can deal with that. Um, so Anna pre-ordered the personal size... Um, now I forget what the official name is. I know that this planner was designed by Ashley G. Um, and it is a really really pale kind of peachy pink with white spots and gold foiling it is really really pretty um, it has a little tag on it um, 
and I'll do a, a walk a flip through video of it later on um, but that was primarily why I ordered that and I ordered the planner with the full set of inserts in them so it's got a full set of 2016 inserts which I may or may not use I haven't decided yet I might try give it their paper a try okay so while I was ordering because um, well, it's not so much the shipping that's a problem, but the you, uh, the conversion rate for Australian dollars is pretty bad. I thought while I'm doing an order for the planner, I might as well pick up some other things so that I just do it in one hit rather than in smaller hits and pay extra shipping. So first thing I picked up was the Witch Hazel, October Afternoon Witch Hazel Miscellany Pack, which is just like an ephemera pack um, for Halloween because you guys know I love my Halloween stuff and I also picked up the Witch Hazel Shape Sticker sheet which is a 12 by 12 sheet let's see, oh I'm not going to, I might have to turn it around I apologise, some of this is going to be upside down I just don't have a very good setup for looking at 12 by 12 papers Oops. so this will come in really handy, I love these I, it's a very cool design um, and then I picked up from the Webster's Pages paper collection uh, the monthly sheets, monthly cut apart sheets, and I got every month except December. So this is September, which is my birthday month, and I have to laugh because I'm in Australia. Um, and Webster's Pages is obviously in Amer I think it's an American company. Um, all of these months are in the reverse seasons to what they would be here in Australia. So this is a very autumny theme, when in reality. My birthday month is spring here in Australia, but that's okay. I will make do. Um, then I got the October one, which again, I'll be holding off for Halloween because I really love this little card up here. Um, and the really nice thing about these pages is that they have a variety of 4x6, 3x4, 2x2, 4x8 cards that you can cut out and use. Oh, and I should say the reverse is um, an ombre color based on the color scheme from the front. So that was the October one. The September ombre was that kind of autumny brown colour. So this is the May one, which is really pretty. I'm going to try and do a May layout next month using that. So it's a purple ombre on the back. This is March, which is green. And they have they all have a quote card on there as well, which is really cool, and a calendar. This is June, which says summer, but you know, here in Australia it's winter. But that's okay because these colours would go for winter because it's quite cool. Then there's July. Again, more summer comments and a bit of a 4th of July kind of feel with the colour scheme. And I'm forgetting to show you the back. Just assume that the back is an ombre version of the front. This is January. Blue. Oh, sorry. Heard something in the background. Uh, February. That's a really pretty colour scheme. I'll be using that for sure. Not for Valentine's because obviously that's past. And I don't really do Valentine's layouts, but that's a really cool layout. I like that one. And I really like this yellow and black as well. And I love the sheep. Look at the little bunny. So yellow on the back. And August. I mean the good thing is I'm not particularly one for being too fussed over colour schemes for seasons. But anyway, and the last thing I picked up was the Simple Stories Carp DM 12 by 12 collection kit. So if we open this up. So that's just the cover. But this would be really fun to actually cut up this front part and use them, use it for scrapbooking and even these, cutting them up and having little mini ephemera pieces. Don't throw away your scraps. So there is a floral paper. So this one's called Don't Mind Me. Oops. And on the back it's a black and white stripe. Uh, this one is First Bump. Spotty on the back. Okay, so the next one is called Make It Happen, which has fun watercolour 
and pattern circles and on the back our great brush script white on black that's really cool oh this one's cute this one's got pencils down the side that'd make a great divider um, and that's pencil it in and then colored stripes on the back and then we have brand new day which is a floral and then that's the reverse then <laughs> total chaos I would actually agree this would be total chaos and oh that's gorgeous on the back I love that but this would be really fun to cut out and have an extra cut apart sheet I couldn't use that on a and I like that would just drive me bonkers, but I really love the reverse. Then there's an, up there, an actual cut apart sheet, and this has three by four cards on them. There we go. Look at the little dog. And more patterns on the back. I have to say, I prefer the pads where you have only one design on it because then you can actually, you don't have to choose between two designs, but we'll survive. Um, so some 4 by 6s with some lovely quotes on them. Love those. And these are, so another couple of 4 by 6s but vertical. Um, and some, what would these be? These 3 by 4s? 3 by 3s. 3 by 3s, sorry, not 4 by 4s. I don't know what I was thinking before. And then again on the back. Okay, and then we've got a 2x12, a 4x12, and a 6x12. That's really cool. This would make a fabulous divider in an A5 planner. And then on the back. Oh, days of the week. So up this way so you can see. That's really cool. Uh, teal dot yellow dot. Ah, oh, so these just must be some basics. That's really handy. And then pink dot black dot. Oh, pink and black on the same thing. This would be like my dream planner. I'll be really, really honest with you. I really want a black planner with a hot pink inside. And then you get two sticker sheets. So there are the Carp DM fundamental cardstock stickers, which are really cute. And then you get three alphas, oh, it's called the Expressions cardstock stickers, three alphas, no, four alphas, one, two, three, four. And then you also get some little word stickers as well. So that's everything I picked up from my Mrs. Brimbles and Scrap Boutique haul. I can't wait to play with it all. A lot of these uh, papers are going to be turned into dividers, more than likely, because that's what I do. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will leave links for everything that I can find down below so you can check them out. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and leave me any comments if you want to see any projects using these items because I can definitely do that as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fabulous video, a uh, fabulous video, fabulous weekend, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.